In this real review, we're going to be taking a look at a platform called PayHip. Now, you can sell digital downloads, uh, courses, coaching, and more. Uh, basically, they're saying you can sell anything online, anywhere with this simple platform. All right. So let's take a look a little further down this page and see what they're talking about. Looks like, yeah, downloads, courses, coaching, mem memberships. So that's kind of cool. I guess you can set up a membership site on here. Um, or let's see, digital downloads or a membership group. All right, cool. Uh, physical products. And if you scroll down here, you can, uh, you know, connect this. Uh, custom domain, build your website quickly, embed it on your, your existing website. And then they got like some testimonials and looks like some examples of what something may look like here, which let's see, jazz guitar element. Looks pretty clean, not bad at all. So, and then at the bottom you see it's powered by PayHep. Maybe we'll check here in a little bit and see if there's like an affiliate program as well. I don't really know right this second, so. All right, uh, so let's uh, go up and check the pricing because I believe you can get started for free, so. If you look at the pricing, we're looking at free forever, zero dollars per month. Uh, looks like there's less restrictions on the free version, and they charge less than another platform I recently reviewed, which was Podia. Um, not sure which one's better. I'm just saying that's that's the facts, right? I think they were eight percent versus uh, this one, which is five percent transaction fees. Now that's on top. That's what the platform charges on top of uh, you know any payment processor fees from PayPal or Stripe. Uh, you know, those are usually 2.9% of any transaction plus 30 cents. Okay. Um, when it comes to the plus plan, oh, plus it looks all features, which I don't know what that is at this moment. Uh, unlimited products, unlimited revenue. Well, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I guess you can just make as much money as you want. Um, on the plus plan, we have $29 per month. Also, one more thing I do not see. I see it just being monthly, not an annual thing where you can save money if you get onto an annual payment. Uh, so just $29 per month, 2.2% 2 .2 transaction fee on top of uh, PayPal and Stripe fees. And then, uh, you know, all features, unlimited products, and unlimited revenue. And then the pro version, which is $99 per month, no transaction fees. And then, uh, you know, same features and unlimited revenue, unlimited, pro unlimited products. Uh, you can check a look at the FAQs below here and, uh, I guess there's charity discount. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but nothing too crazy there. Let's go create an account, a free account, and see what it looks like. All right, so we're going to go ahead and create our business account or our account. Uh, let's, let's call the business what it is. We'll just say it's real reviews. We're just testing this, by the way. All right, let's see what this looks like. Um, so we got payhip.com forward slash real reviews. Get started selling. All right, all right. Welcome to payhip. All right, this is my first time setting this up, so we can go. Uh, you know, set up our checkout, set up our customize our store design, add our first product. Let's go. Uh, let's go up here to the tabs right here. Let's see what we got here. We got dashboard. We got products. All right. Pretty pretty normal stuff. It's a pretty cool looking interface. Um, pretty clean. Uh, we got store. All right. We got our store here. I guess you can do blog posts as well. Domains. I wonder what that means with the connector. I guess you can connect a domain. And so that way, uh, you know, if you were to go purchase a domain from like GoDaddy or Namecheap or something like that, uh, you could have it go directly to your store here. And then uh, it would be, you know, it could be your, like your name.com or, or your name store.com or something like that. And then uh, instead of it having payhip.com for slash the store, the name of your store, you know, so that's basically like a subdomain. All right. Um, now, uh, let's, let's see right now. See, my store name is that, in other words, right? Which is still okay. All right. Uh, blog post. Let's take a look at this real quick. I guess you could add a blog post. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got uh, the store. We already looked at that. Launch your store builder. Let's see what the editor looks like. Add your first product. I guess we gotta go. Please add your first product for customizing your store design. Let's add an example product and uh, and then come back here. Let me see what I can find in my you know list of products or my <laughs> my my storage of products and see if we can come up with something. All right, so we'll we'll do that and then come back here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you something that I experienced. Uh, basically, when I started adding my first product, I decided to add one of my memberships. I'm not really going to sell it on here, but I just want to set it up as an example. So let's go back here and see what that looks like. Add your first product. Click on that. And then you see here you have digital product, physical, course, coaching service, subscription billing, and then bundle. So you can, I wonder if you can stack that up from the get-go and... Uh, Oh, so it start shoots the bundle. You can change it. So I guess this means that um, let's say that you you have a few products loaded up on here that you could actually bundle them all together and sell them together. That's what I'm guessing. What that is, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, 
but uh, I think so. Anyways, uh, so let's add a product. Let's add a membership that I have going on right now. Uh, you'll see I'm actually just selling this on one of my websites. Let's go take a look at what that looks like right now. Right now, I'm using Thrivecart for it, um, and I don't want to change that, right? So this is just one of my simple little memberships. It's got a funny little <laughs> e-cover here, and uh, here's my cart, right? So this is my cart. Um, by the way, if you'd like to see my Thrive Cart review, you can uh, you can look that at that in the description area below. Uh, just kind of see how you know pay hip stacks up against something like that. Okay, it's a little bit different, um, well, a lot different, but they both have the same purpose, right? It's just selling your digital products, right, or physical products or service, whatever you have, right? Um, but this is the the page I have. Uh, I just want to set up a simple page. So this first thing we have to do is set up our Stripe account. That's what I came across, right? So I'm going to pause it while I set that up. Okay, so we've set up our Stripe account. And as you can see here, it uh, looks like you can link your PayPal account as well. I don't see any other, um, you know, payment processors at the moment. Uh, let's see, Stripe has been set up. My default currency is USD. Looks like you can also use the, the British pound, the Euro, the Australian dollar, the Brazil. I'd like to say, I don't know, is it a Brazil dollar? I'm not really sure. And then the Canadian dollar. And I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest. Check, check something, maybe? I really don't know. Uh, see, so it will appear on your customer's bank statement. They should recognize you. So you could put something like here. Uh, I'm not even sure. Maximum 11 characters. Let's see. Oh, okay. So let's put, uh, what was our real reviews? All right. So we'll save our settings here. All right, and we got our stuff set up. So we got billing and invoices here. Um, oh, I guess that's what we we're just getting billed. Uh, we got taxes here in case we want to put in our information for taxes. So store address, so this is your physical store location. Okay, we have your tax rates and then um, the pay up. You can let PayHip handle this stuff, includes taxes within a product price, all this stuff, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is like if you're going to do more like physical stuff or whatever, um, more advanced setting. Let's see what that does. So. Oh, stamp the buyer's email on the top left corner of each PDF. Okay, let's see an example. So this is an example of an invoice. And by the way, guys, I am just going across this stuff for the first time. I'm not the techiest person in the world. Uh, a scandal in Bohemia. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what the, that's supposed to show me other than there's supposed to be some kind of a stamp up here. Is that what that is? Stamp the buyer's email on the top of your so that's supposed to be an example, I guess. So, okay. All right. Well, that is what it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, send me a notification uh, email each time a physical product enters the following source. So I guess. Uh, um, okay. So like I say, that you only have a certain amount, then they'll send you an email when uh, when uh, your inventory is below a certain amount. Okay. So download maximum maximum number of downloads for each file. So uh, you have your Google Analytics, uh, Facebook. So that's where your metric uh, for retargeting stuff like that. Uh, check out settings. So there's really quite a bit of options. Redirect people to a particular. So you can sell just about anything. I mean, like I say that you, you're sending a physical product. You could send somebody to like a thank you page or something like that. Or maybe uh, I like got a, a thank you page. Well, it would, it would all probably be some kind of thank you page, right? Saying, hey, thank you for your purchase. By the way, did you check this and that and this and that out, right? Or by the way, uh, we need your your uh, physical address or tell them the next step, that sort of deal, right? I'm not sure how exactly what that'll do. Uh, collect the customer's first and last name during a digital product checkout, okay? Display your own questions for customers. So that maybe this would be for like a coaching thing, right? You can add a qu checkout questions, can have, please select the products that they should have, customers should have a specific product in their cart, can have any product. I'm not sure what that'll be, but uh, let's take that off, right? Course settings, send me a notification. And start. So let's say you can set up, set up courses on here. That's kind of cool. You can add your own logo to your receipts, add your own business address in case you're like an LLC or something like that. Um, customer accounts for digital and physical products don't allow customers accounts. And we're only gonna check out as guests. Okay, customers are, uh, so it's really quite a bit of stuff here. And uh, look, you can even send them like a thank you for your purchase receipt uh, or email follow up. Okay. So quite a bit of stuff there. Let's see. Is there anything else here? Maybe this is when they log in. Uh, change your email. That's all. Okay. This is, would you like to add? So maybe, maybe this is my account on here, I guess, maybe. Oh, so I can delete it. Okay. All right. So it's just, and then there's developer stuff, which I'm not going to pretend to know what uh, to set up APIs and stuff, but. I won't ever be messing with that. All right, just want to show you everything that I'm experiencing for the first time. <laughs> uh, let's go down here. And uh, so we set up our, oh, you can set up your social as well. Not even sure. What, oh, so this is our store. Set up our Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, okay? Um, 
we're good for now. I think we're, let's see, was there anything? Did I miss anything? Nope, that's it. Uh, let's go down here and look at products. We got our first products. Did we have it set up? I thought we did. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a membership. That's what it was. Let's set that up. All right. Let's call this done for you monthly marketing emails. And we're just going to rip off of my own sales page, right? We'll go over to my sales page right here. All right. And we're just going to do the same thing, right? Let's take a look. Okay, so I'll pause it while I do this and I'll add it and we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'll just pause it for now and uh, we'll see what this looks like at the end okay all right y'all so after playing with the store middle for a little while this is what i came up with um so as you can see at the very top i got this bar right here that uh that can send me somewhere it says can you use 100 can you use 100 plus done for your emails that can help you make sales without looking sleazy i don't know that's the best i could come up with this actually i just i just uh put it over to my uh to my product so i guess it's right here all right and then uh we have a video here it's just a placeholder just some lines running uh, but what you could do is have like a little welcome right here and say, hey, so I got a little welcome thing, you know, saying, hey, you know, this is what we do, blah, blah, blah. And then right here you have, I have like the products page. So it has this product and then you could have a collection of them coming across here. Uh, you could probably only show a few at a time, right? But maybe it has like a slider. I'm not sure how that, that would look like um, once you uh, have more than like four or five products, right? Uh, but yeah, you can see this will take them to that same page. Boom, same page. Boom, same page. Although I think I'd, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd uh, actually set that to something else. Hold on, let me see. So I have it going, oh, nope, never mind. I have it to the, going to this done for you monthly marketing email link. Uh, so yeah, it's going over here to this, which is fine. Uh, let's see what else. As you can see here, I, I edited it, my about sec me section. Um, then people can follow me. Let's see where they can follow me. Oh, so yeah. See, I, I don't know. Maybe it seems a little bit repetitive. So they, everything's about getting people onto my email list up here. Uh, you know, get them to buy a product up here to get product. And then over here, get on my email list. I don't know. Maybe this is a little bit too much here. Maybe I could just have this here and get rid of this here. Uh, but as you can see, it can quickly start, you know, making this. It doesn't look perfect or anything, but you know what? Um, and I just started, first of all, I just started using this <laughs> and I'm not super techy, but you can start getting something out there, you know, and uh, instead of trying to figure out WordPress and all that stuff, not that it's bad to do that, you could have something up and running and even use that as part of your marketing too. Just be like, hey, I'm an imperfect person, but here's my products and here's why I think you should buy them and, and I'll, you know, whatever, right? See, I could take this off probably, but, but um, what's it called? Uh, but yeah, uh, over here in the top right, you can see there's a contact me page uh, as well. Uh, uh, another thing I didn't really know how to do, let's see, so I can add a page, let's see, custom page. You have all these pages, I got our products page, let's see, all products pages, let's just look at that. Okay, that's just the main page. Uh, let's look at the subscription page. I'm not sure how to add these pages, it only shows the shop contact, but I guess you could look for stuff in here too. Uh, there's that one, let's see what else we got here. Let's see the real reviews blog, which has nothing on it. Um, but you know, you can start using a blog, right? You can have a footer, and on the footer, you could have uh, nav navigation links if you want. You could have columns, I guess, right? But um, let's see, show payment icons. I don't know. I don't know if I would need that. Show payment icons, maybe. What does that look like? I don't know why you would need that there, but that would only be like on a sales page or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I like what I see so far. I mean, let's go publish this anyways. Let's see what this page looks like or this whole thing looks like. Let's go to real reviews, come back here, get rid of, you know what? And this is bothering me now. So I'm just going to get rid of that, uh, one section right there. Let's get rid of that. Um, Oh, well, it's probably not that big of a deal. Let's go to our subscri subscription page, I think it was. No, that's not the right one. Our product page, collection page. You can just get rid of it. So nothing too crazy here. I mean, it's pretty easy to use. Let's see. Let's delete this section. Grab. And we're good to go. We can just publish that really quick. Don't need that there. Good to go. So the builder's pretty easy to use. Nothing crazy. It's pretty simple. Um, doesn't look as fancy as some of the stuff, to be honest, but like just looking at it now, but it's all right. It's good enough to get things going. 
Um, and you could probably design this a little bit better. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I know that I'm not doing it justice, right? I'm just setting stuff up really, really, really plainly. Uh, I haven't looked through no, no training whatsoever. You could have a header up here and, you know, do some navigation links. Let's see what can, you could add stuff here. Oh, here we go. So you could add like, you know, a link to your blog here, you know, all kinds of stuff, right? Maybe you could have a, uh, I don't even know, uh, testimonials, right? Page or something like that. Maybe you could have like a freebie page, right? The freebies you give away. And uh, uh, that could be something that you do with your, your site as well. And that's where people can get onto your email list. And then it, maybe, maybe they'll buy some of your, your upgraded stuff, right? So anyways, just some ideas there. Let's get out of this store builder uh, and look a little bit more around here, right? So, all right. Uh, so here, here we are back at the dashboard. There is something that I saw that I think is kind of cool. So uh, we have our blog post here. We have our... Show you, they show you some stats here or whatever, but uh, what I think is kind of neat is, uh, let's see, is, is it over here? No, it's not. Um, it's right here. No, not in store. Uh, you can do domains. Okay. Nah. So you look at analytics and all that good stuff. We're, we're just going down here. Is somebody in Alaska look look at my thing? <laughs> I don't know who would look at this. Uh, um Okay, so let's look at the marketing. So this is interesting. You can actually start creating coupon codes, right? And, uh, you know, take percentages off of your products, right? So right there, it could be a specific product. You do the done for you monthly marketing emails. Uh, they can get, let's say they get 50% off. Number of coupons that can be used. Let's say it can only be five or something like that. And uh, it expires, you know, next week or something like that. Good to go, right? Create the coupon. Good to go. Let's see if it works, right? Let's go test that out. So we're going to use this coupon code. Let's go back here. Let's go to our products. Or, you know what? Let's just reload our page. Let's see if it works. There's our there's our coupon. And I guess it works on... Uh, I wonder if it works for just the month. You know, I'm not going to really do this. Uh, let's just see if the coupon code works, right? I don't think I copied it. So let's go back here to marketing. Let's go to coupon codes. Let's try that again. Copy. Let's see if this works. Um, I don't know. There's not an apply coupon code, is there? Maybe you'd have to go through with it or something like that, uh, and then it would go. Not really sure. But anyways, I just set that up right now. Might be a matter of just testing that a little further. Uh, I did think that there was something else really cool here. Um, place where you, you can sign your affiliates up, uh, your mailing list, cross selling, promote your products to customers. And they add an item to their cart, buy one get one half price off. Okay, so interesting. Referral, in, incentivize your customers to share your products with their friends and supercharge yourself. So this is actually what I saw that was kind of interesting. So if people start, you know, referring people, they can get money off of their next product, which will help drive more sales, right? And of course, here you can encourage buyers to. Oh, one product to purchase other products. So, so you can incentivize them. Then you can just have them upgrade right here, right? So interesting. Now, I did like the social discounts. Here we go. So this is actually what I was talking about. If you add a social discount, you can actually um, apply social discounts to all. You say if somebody gets fifty percent off. Let's see, fifty off. Let's see. Create social discount now. And. I was wondering if uh, like they had to have a certain amount of shares or something like that, or maybe this is, maybe I'm misunderstanding what it actually is, but uh, we'll pause it, let it go and see what happens here. Okay. So after looking at it, I think I know what happened here. Let's, let's see if this is what I think it is. So maybe if people go and share this page, they'll get a discount. Hmm, not sure. But anyways, there's some kind of social. I'd have to look that up. I, I really don't know exactly how that works, to be honest. I created it, but uh, not sure what that is. But it looks like that is something that is a feature on this, right? Reach out to customers effectively using this. Uh, spread the word about your products. That your customer customers receive discounts when they share on Facebook. So uh, let's learn more about that. So basically, yeah, they'll share on there. And let's see what the customers see. See? Oh, okay. Here it is. So share on Facebook and get 25%. See, I like this. I think this is nice. Maybe you up, maybe you mark it up a little bit and you're hoping, Hey, by the way, you'll get X amount of dollars and uh, you'll get some, you know, 25% off my product, right? If you buy it, if you share it, and then you can tell, you know, 
obviously they want it, they're interested in the product, right? They're sharing it to begin with, uh, of course, and they want to get a discount as well. So that's, that could be kind of a viral thing, right? It could go a little viral if, uh, if, you know, get a lot of people sharing it. So just another thing I was, I thought was kind of cool. Um, over here, you can see your customers, of course, you can probably see their emails. Yeah. Emails, sales report, followers. Let's see, what was this? Let's see, customers. Oops. Sales reports, followers. So pretty cool little analytics. Uh, yeah, overall, I think this is an interesting uh, little pro uh, platform to, you know, sell your products on. I think it can help you get started. Um, over time, you know, you probably get better at the builder and build something way better looking than what I've got going on here. I mean, this just looks pretty junior league. <laughs> I mean, my my store does, but I know that there's some people on here that are, you know, doing well. So because like, you go to their main website. I mean, you can tell that they're actually. Well, maybe I'm, I didn't go to the right place. Let's go to the incognito window. We've got a pay hip. Y'all saw oops, wrong one. Y'all saw that uh, um, there's some people with some pretty good looking products down here, right at the very bottom. See, like not only that, this this looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I did build my website pretty quickly. Of course, mine's kind of ugly. But let's go down and look at like let's say this keto cookbook. Let's go look at this other one. Uh, Love to cook again, and then we already saw it that other one was like jazz guitar or whatever but, i mean this is looking nice of course this is just a picture right pretty simple stuff let's see can we look at their whole so yeah this looks pretty good i mean it's pretty it's really really simple you uh so i don't think it's meant to be like a super duper um see this looks a little bit better see this looks much better i don't think it's meant to be like a full-blown like fancy pantsy website but it who says you need that to begin with, right? So this is a pretty good looking blog, right? So this has cookies. They got their, as you can see, we can see that they have their own, uh, look at this, they have their own, what is this? Your, your selected data. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> see, customize, customize, basic operations. So it's like a whole data thing. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, but I mean, this looks really, really nice, actually. Never mind. I mean, I, they even have like banners on here and stuff. So, uh, yeah, look at it. a schoolhouse teacher's membership, one ninety nine. Use Bogo, blah 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 blah. So this looks really nice. I mean, it's it's just a bunch of uh, blog posts, right? So take a look at one real quick. Yeah, looks good. I guess maybe this is from uh, advertising from from uh, what's it called from Payhip. I'm not really sure, uh, but I mean, these are good looking. This is a good looking blog, you know, good looking blog, and uh, yeah. And it says here, oh, you know what? I see. <laughs> they got it on their own website. All right. So they just have PayHip on their own website. That's why I was like, man, this looks a little nice. <laughs> Too nice. But you can see this person is just using PayHip. You can see the PayHip in their in their thing. And then this person has it on their own website. So I was just uh, thinking incorrectly. But I was like, how do they get <laughs> the, the banners on here? But yeah. Um, but no, I mean, uh, that's another aspect of it, right? So you can use it on your own website or whatever. Um, you can use it pretty simply here on pay hip alone you can see this person you know this is their about me really simple powered by pay hip uh but yeah nothing too crazy here let's see i kind of want to see some more of these let's kind of take a look around and see let's see master stan hand whatever 30 bucks i mean that looks kind of nice this one's on pay hip as well as you can see they're here look you can go to the website so you can basically have people go to pay hip to go buy a specific product and then you know maybe they'll go back to your you know to your store so here's a store and then you got your you know set up your affiliates if you want affiliates to be you know sign up on the, on payhip or whatever and then you can go back and then people will visit your website as well and get traffic to your website so could be another way to get traffic to your web or i mean people to buy your products but also back to people back to your website right and i wonder if they if they uh just connect back to payhip right so <laughs> let's see what happens i guess they do yeah look this probably goes back to oh yeah so exactly what happens okay so just a couple ways to use it um i think it's an interesting little platform i think it's uh definitely worth using if um you have nothing else going on of course right but it might be uh it's good for people that are like super not tech tech techy like me um yeah i definitely think that's the kind of person this is for and then you can look at the video library and not just wing it like i did right of course, my page just looks super simple, but that, these are super simple pages, right? This doesn't look as uh, as sophisticated as other builders, but uh, I don't think it's really meant to be that. I think it's just cool for, it could be good for like influencers or just people trying to get somebody to buy something right away. So anyways, with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed my 
real review. Um, you know, I really looked at a lot of, a lot of this stuff for the first time. Uh, if you want to go check it out, I'll leave a link to it below. Uh, and, uh, yeah, of course, uh, if you want to know a little bit more about affiliate marketing, there is a link to go check out the number one recommended affiliate marketing resource in the description area below as well. Don't forget to comment with any thoughts on this video, like like the video as well, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here. And don't forget to ring the little bell for future video notifications as well. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.